Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I'm just going to do my chemistry 1010 revision of which I'll be solving three questions from tutorial sheet one. So please make sure that you register with us and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So the first question is give the number of significant figures in each of the following so i'll write my a there so i've been given 36.7 meters so if you look at this number this is a very easy number which you can understand so what you do is you're just going to count one um two three okay so this one is just c three significant figures so this one is just having three significant figures okay so i hope you guys um in case you have any questions you are free to whatsapp me and in case you you have any clarification you're also free to whatsapp me the next question is um count the number of significant figures so we have been given 0.00, .00 six six zero six second so in this particular case this is whereby you are now going to introduce the rules whereby the first three zeros are not going to be counted so you are not going to count these first three zeros but this zero in between the number is supposed to be counted so in short what i'm saying is the only significant figures the only numbers which we have to consider is one this one two this one three this one and four that one so for this particular um for this particular number you only have four significant figures which i'll just write s f so these are the solutions for this question so let's quickly look at the next question so the next question is um the next question is ion which is represented by fe is the main component of steel and thus the most important metal in industrial society it is essential also it is also essential in the body how many fair atoms are in 95.8 grams of fair so if you look at iron iron is a very important atom you can talk about um hemoglobin you can talk about a lot of things which are very important in our body and iron is one of them so what we have to understand in this question there is nothing important to even worry about all you need is to find the number of atoms which are in that particular um iron so what we are going to do we are just going to we are just going to write the formula so number of atom so we'll say number of atom number of atom is just simply equal to moles times the avogadro's constant number moles times the avogadro's constant number so we we'll say number of moles number of moles and then times the, the avogadro c constant number so we all know what the avogadro's constant number is and we also know the the formula of finding the number of moles so if you observe here uh, what we have been given in this particular question we have the the grams here the, we have the grams and in this guy here we can look for the what we can look for the mass number we can look for the mass number so the number of moles has not been given but it can be calculated so that simply means that this part of this formula can also be written in such a way that we can simply have number of moles number of moles is simply equal to number of moles is simply equal to so how do we find the the, the number of moles so number of moles is simply written as mass um the mass over the mass over the the mass number 
mass over the mass number okay so after that what we also have to understand that this formula has been uh, converted into this particular way so this simply means that we can easily come up with the last formula of number of atoms so number of atom number of atom so where there is the the number of moles we can replace that so we can simply say the mass number the mass number over the the mass number not the mass number sorry the mass over the mass number the mass over the mass number so there we we'll put the word see, the mass number like that and then this has to be multiplied by the what by the Avogadro C um, Avogadro C number. So this was the most important thing to analyze in this question where to come up with a formula. Where to come up with a formula. So after we understand this, we need to look for the for the mass number of um, of ion. So the, the mass number of ion can easily be found uh, by just checking your periodic table. So from there, we can simply say the number of atoms, the number of atoms is simply equal to the mass which we have been given there is just 95.80 grams. Then this 95.80 grams of ion which we have been given there it has to be uh, divided by the what? It has to be divided by the the mass number. So, if you look at the mass number of ion, the mass number of ion is just simply fifty-five point eight four five grams. So, we we'll write fifty-five point fifty-five point eight four five grams. And then this number, we are multiplying it by the Avogadro's constant number. So the Avogadro's constant number, we know that that is the same as it. the the Avogadro's constant number. It's equal to the um, to one more. Okay. So this we we'll just write it as zero point. That's the Avogadro's constant numbers six point zero two two um times 10 to the power 23 times 10 to the power 23 so this is the avogadro's constant number so once we we plug that on our calculator when we put that on our calculator what are we simply going to have so just from here you can understand that this and that will go right that and that will go so the number of atom the number of atoms the number of atoms here is just when you plug in that particular number when you plug in that number on your calculator what you are going to have is 1.04 times 1.04 times 10 to the power 24 10 to the power 24 of what of fe atoms so fe is just standing for what for ion so this is the this is just the final answer for this particular question so the tricky part was just on trying to analyze the formula of finding the number of atoms and then the the other part which was there which was tricky is for you to come up with this number of moles you come up with how you can best uh, solve it so after that you just put the numbers on the formula all right guys if you have any questions you are free to whatsapp me and you are also free to register with excel academy let me quickly go to the last question of today so the last question is um in mammals, lactose, which is milk sugar, is metabolized to glucose, the key nutrient for generating chemical potential energy. What is the mass of each element in e, in glucose? So, if you look at the elements which are involved in this glucose, the elements which we are talking about, the first one is what is carbon. Okay, the second one is oxygen okay the second one is oxygen 
and then the last one is what is hydrogen so this these are the elements that are there and these are the elements we need to to look at so for you to for you to to find the the mass percentage of each element what you have to do is you need to first look for the amount of each element in one one molecule of glucose so you need to look for the amount of each element in one one what one molecule of glucose then later on you need to look to, um, you need to find the mass of each element in moles of the compound so you look for the amount of moles for each element and most of these they just they are just equivalent to the number which is a subscript then that you can look for the mass fraction and lastly you can look for the mass percentage so what i've said i can put it in written i can put it in written so what i'm going to do is i'm first going to find the molecular mass of uh, glucose so glucose is having c6 h12 and then you have oxygen 6 so we can look for the molecular mass the molecular mass which i can use mm molecular mass what i'll do is i'll say uh, six times the mass of carbon so the mass of carbon is simply 12.01 so 12.01 and then i'll say plus the the guy which is hydrogen so we have 12 times the mass the atomic mass of hydrogen is simply 1.008 and then i'll say um plus lastly what i'll do is i'll say six times what i'll say uh, here i'll say six times the atomic mass of um of oxygen which is simply 16 uh 16. so from there the the molar mass will simply be equal to if you multiply everything there and you add them what you are going to have is 180 180.16 uh, gram per mole 16 gram per mole so this is the molecular mass of um molecular mass of glucose because this is the glucose which we have been given so after that take note that um i'm just directly i'm just directly um solving but for some lecturers or tutor they will need you to put some units so if you are trying to put some units then in that case um for such concepts you you'll be taught during the physical classes for excel academy so when you attend our excel academy classes you'll be taught how to fuse in some um some some units in between there so this is the molecular mass of um of the of the whole compound which is glucose so the next thing that we can do is we can now convert the moles of um of carbon to grams okay so here the next thing that i'm going to do at this particular point i'll convert the number of moles of carbon because here i'll start with carbon so i'll convert i'll convert the i'll convert the number of moles number of moles to what to to grams i'll convert the number of moles to grams so that's my second step after i find that so from what we know we know the the mass of an atom or the the moles when you talk of the moles so i'll start with carbon there all right carbon so from what we know what we know is that more number of moles okay number number of moles is equal to what mass mass over what um over the mass number mass over the mass number so from here we can simply come up with the, a formula whereby we can say the mass is simply equal to moles times what uh, mass number so moles times the mass number so 
from that we can simply come up with that particular formula so once we once we we come up with that we can start with carbon so if we were to start with carbon the mass of carbon we can say mass of carbon okay mass of carbon remember we are looking for the what for the mass for the mass percentage of which element so mass of carbon what we'll do is we'll look at the number of moles okay so the number of moles of carbon in this compound did six the same subscript there yeah. so we are going to say six um six moles six moles of carbon six moles of carbon then we multiply it six moles of carbon we are going to multiply it by the mass number right so the mass number which is simply going to be a uh, 12 12.01 grams 12.01 grams of course we know this has to be uh, 01 grams per mole right so that more here we can write it down there we can write it down there because that's how you write the mass number you say 12.01 gram per mole okay gram per mole like i wrote there gram per mole so that's how you write it so this same thing can just be written like that so after you do that you can simply understand that this more and that more will go isn't it so what we are now having the the mass of carbon the mass of carbon the mass of carbon is simply equal to 6 times 12.01 which is giving you 72 72.060 grams of carbon so since we have 76.6 grams of of carbon what we can do is now to look for the um the mass percentage of carbon so the mass percentage the mass percentage of carbon it is an easy one such that you will just get this uh 72 72.060 72 72.06 grams over this molecular mass we had here which is 180.16 okay gram per mole 16 gram Per more and then we'll multiply it by we are just going to multiply it by what we are just going to multiply it by 100 uh, percent since it's percentage which we are simply looking for so once we once we do that once we do that our next target is just for us to simply uh, cancel this one and also cancel that one so once we we cancel that the the only thing is to plug in on your calculator to plug in on your calculator so mass percentage mass percentage will simply be equal to this will give you 0 0.40000 so if you do your calculations what you are going to find is that this will be 40 percent okay this will be 40 percent 40 percent of what 40 percent of of carbon so 40 percent mass percent of carbon okay so that's um 40 percent mass carbon so this is the final answer so the final answer here was just the 40 percent so with this in mind we can move on and look at um another component which is hydrogen or you can get um if you want you can get carb you can get oxygen you can get um hydrogen but for me i'll start with hydrogen so if you look at hydrogen which i'll write there hydrogen um for hydrogen you follow the the same steps you follow the same steps you're going to follow the same steps so what we can do at this particular point what we can do is you can just say more of um, carbon more of carbon times mass of um, of carbon and then over the mass of one molecule of what of of um, 
of glucose so we can say mass percentage okay mass percentage of um, hydrogen mass percentage of hydrogen is simply equal to you can write the mass of uh, hydrogen the mass of hydrogen okay the mass of hydrogen which we we first did concerning that so the mass of hydrogen times the the mass the molecular mass of of hydrogen or the mass number of hydrogen okay which is that and then over you can say the mass of glucose molecule the mass of glucose molecule mass of um glucose molecule or just like glucose uh, molecule i'll write m just to say molecule and then times 100 times 100 just like that okay so from here from this formula you can plug in the the values so let's quickly plug in the the values and see how best we can do it so the mass of hydrogen if you look at that formula it is simply 12 so there are 12 moles you can check there are 12 moles okay and then times the the mass of um the mass of of hydrogen the molecular mass of hydrogen so the molecular mass of hydrogen like we stated it is one point zero zero eight grams one point zero zero eighty grams per watt per more okay so one more there and then this whole thing should be over the mass of glucose which we found to be one eighty one eighty point one six okay so this one eighty point one six is coming from that particular guy then you say times what times 100 percent times 100 percent okay so once you do that what you can simply do in this particular case times one one 100 percent so when you multiply all that when you work on that everything there you plug in on your calculator automatically what you are going to observe is that this more and that more will go and then the gram which is here and that gram there they'll go okay so once you plug in on your calculator what you are going to find that the the mass percentage the mass percentage of uh, hydrogen the mass percentage of hydrogen when you plug in on your calculator it's going to give you 6.714 uh, percent 6.714 percent so this is going to be the mass percentage of what of hydrogen then we can get the mass percentage of oxygen so we can now go further and look at the mass percentage of oxygen which i'll simply write oxygen there so for oxygen we'll use the the same formula we'll use the the same formula which we we are looking at so you say mass percentage of oxygen mass percentage of oxygen is simply equal to you say moles of oxygen moles of oxygen um oxygen times the 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 molecular mass of oxygen which can be written as m of oxygen moles of oxygen the molecular mass of oxygen over remember the oils i'm putting there are just for oxygen and then the mass of one more of glucose mass of one more of glucose one more of glucose okay so with that in mind we can simply multiply this by 100 okay. percent so if you observe in my first guy for carbon i went step by step but in my last guy uh, hydrogen and oxygen have 
uh, added all these formulas i've put them all together so you can either use this way or the other way but for me i normally prefer using the, the first route because it's easy to follow then from there i can say mass percentage i can say mass percentage of oxygen mass percentage of oxygen is simply equal to i'll put the number of moles which is six so i'll say six uh six moles of oxygen so there there is six six moles and then times the molecular mass of uh, the molecular mass of oxygen is just 6.00 uh, grams per mole 6.00 grams per mole there which is just one more and this whole thing should be over 180.16 grams and then times 100 percent so from that what we can easily do is to cancel out the the more will go with that more the gram will go with that gram so when you plug in that on your calculator the mass of oxygen the mass of oxygen will see the mass percentage sorry the mass percentage of oxygen will simply be equal to will simply be equal to 53 53.29 percent okay so ladies and gentlemen these are the solution for this the for these three questions thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy